Anchoring is a great way to get away with your friends and family and explore uninhabited locations. Plus, it's a lot cheaper than staying at marinas. But a lot of people are nervous about anchoring and wonder how exactly that chunk of steel hanging from the bow keeps your boat in one place. Many people find it a bit of a mystery, and that doesn't help with their nervousness. You really want to be confident in your anchoring in order to get a good night's sleep, or if you're leaving your boat to explore some remote islands, especially if the wind picks up. So I wanted to show you exactly how an anchor behaves on the seafloor. I found a nice popular anchorage where the tide had gone out, exposing the same sandy bottom that the boats in the distance are anchoring in, so we can see exactly what is going on without the sea being in the way. The worst thing to do is simply throw your anchor and chain overboard in a heap and hope for the best. That is literally rolling the dice. Instead, you want to lower your anchor to the seabed and then lay the chain along the bottom like this. You want the pull on the anchor to be almost horizontal, and for that you need to measure the distance from the bow roller to the seabed at high tide and pay out at least five times that much chain, which is known as five to one scope. So the anchor chain lies along the seabed like this. Then, with some help from the motor, the horizontal pull will cause the anchor to dig itself in, like this. Without enough chain, the pull will be too vertical and the anchor will just drag along until you let out enough chain and get the horizontal pull and the anchor will start to dig in. If the anchor is set but you didn't let out enough chain and the tide goes up, your anchor could pull out like this. But with 5 to 1 scope, the anchor should stay buried with gradual wind and tide shifts like this. Here we're simulating a slow 180 degree wind or tide shift. You can see the anchor stays buried. With 5 to 1 scope and a more horizontal pull, you can even withstand more abrupt changes like this. It might even pull the anchor right out, but if you have a horizontal pull, the anchor should simply reset itself. I tried to simulate more extreme and dramatic shifts in wind and current, and as long as I was pulling horizontally, even if the road tripped over the anchor itself, the anchor simply pulled itself out and reset again. And again. And again. So the secret is having that 5 to 1 scope and nearly horizontal pull. Of course, your anchor could be fouled with an old shoe or some kelp, but the first thing you should try if your anchor is not staying put is letting out more chain or road. If you want to see more videos like this, then leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.